Okay, so on to the final option for power. That's gonna be your nitrogen or your pneumatic power. Uh, basically, it runs off of a nitrogen tank that's supplied in the operating room. So whether it's wall mounted or it's the big 60 gallon tank uh, that rolls around from operating room to operating room, there's definitely different options and versions on the nitrogen powered system. Again, it runs on nitrogen power, so it's gonna give you a lot of speed and as much torque as the hand piece is gonna take. For this situation and this um, demonstration, we have the Midas Rex nitrogen powered system. Um, basically, the components of the system is gonna be the hand piece and then the actual plug-in and then the actual nitrogen cord. So also what you need is you need a foot pedal to be able to run it. So basically the foot pedal, right? So your port clicks into there. The nitrogen is supplied through the foot pedal and then the foot pedal is the actual power control for the actual surgeon. This is the actual hand piece itself. And then remember, anytime you have a hand piece, what do you need? You need an attachment. So Midas Rex makes a lot of different versions of attachments that go to their hand switches or foot switch hand pieces. Uh, again, depending on what style or type of burr they would wanna use with the system is gonna depend on what type of attachment that you have. So make a lot of different attachments for a lot of different disposables or burrs, uh, figuring out which one works best for you. The other version that I pulled out is the Hall nitrogen system. And basically what happens is, is the same thing. You have the nitrogen cord. With this cord, this end plugs in to the nitrogen supply in the room. And then the end of the cord then plugs into whatever handpiece you're actually using. For this demonstration in this video, we did not hook up a nitrogen power to let you hear it run, but it definitely has a different sound than a micro or a battery powered system because it is running off of nitrogen. So pretty much that's how it works. With the Hall system, you have the ability to use a saw or a drill for the nitrogen powered. Okay, so to summarize up the nitrogen pneumatic powered system, uh, obviously you need a nitrogen cord. Then you would need a nitrogen supply. So you would have to make sure that the facility that you want them to use the nitrogen powered system actually has the ability to run nitrogen. Uh, that would be a huge drawback if you sell them the system and they don't have nitrogen. If they don't have nitrogen or a way to hook up nitrogen, then the nitrogen powered systems or the gas powered systems, again, will not work without a gas supply. For the purpose of this demonstration, we used a Midas Rex and the Hall system, but Stryker makes one, ConMed makes one. All other manufacturers would make a nitrogen or a pneumatic powered system, uh, really just dependent on what's best for you and what's best for the facility.